Welcome back to the Battlefield 1 beta, guys. Today I'd love to share with you one of the absolute coolest weapons I've seen in the beta. It is a weapon by the name of the Tank of Air M1918, and it's one of the strongest weapons I've ever used in Battlefield. As you might have noticed in the picture earlier in the video, this German anti-tank rifle was one of the very few weapons used in World War I to destroy enemy vehicles at range. Whether they used it against planes like I have is unknown to me, but I certainly find it extremely fun. I'm sure you can see now how catastrophically strong this weapon is in a World War I situation against vehicles and infantry. It's honestly provided me some of the most fun I've had in an FPS game in a while. It's not every day that you can say you practically shredded a plane to death using only a rifle, or that you blew up an entire military grade truck in a single bullet. That's what it's like to use this extremely hefty rifle. And just a side note before we continue, I highly recommend sitting through the whole video to see the weapon's true potential in the event you don't take my word. Believe me when I say it's a satisfying weapon to use and observe. At this point, I'm sure you've experienced enough weapons in Battlefield 1 to realize that many of them are incredibly inaccurate, all things considered. However, the Tank of Air M1918 is possibly one of the most accurate weapons I've used in the game to date. It doesn't seem to have any major bullet drop off and usually hit its targets even if it only has an iron sight instead of a scope. And while it has an extremely slow output of bullets, it absolutely hits like a truck. It seems to one hit any unarmored player at almost any distance even if it's in the body. It's an absolute joy to see players scurrying around like ants but dropping like flies to the sheer power of the M1918. Throw in your occasional 200 meter destruction of an armored truck or tank and you instantly become one of the most team supportive players in your squad. And we've all had our separate opinions about armored vehicles in the beta, so why not give them something to worry about instead? Let me just say that it's absolutely hilarious when these vehicles have no clue what's killing them until it's already too late. Now I'm sure you've noticed at this point though that it still does take a fair amount of shots to destroy a tank. Luckily you don't have to worry about it too much because of the more than fair supply of ammo, and the fact that you can sneak around and poke it with bullets from practically any position at practically any range. As for damage against horses, the tank rifle doesn't do quite as much as expected, but it certainly does enough after two shots to make the horse's health a serious problem for the rider. I usually can drop a player directly off of the horse in a single shot, or if necessary just after a couple shots to the horse's body. It's not a serious problem, but horses definitely seem to have more health than expected. You may have noticed in the very beginning of the video, I managed to snipe a plane out of the sky in only two shots. Even if the tank of air does hit incredibly hard for a sniper, its damage to both tanks and planes still ranges greatly. It's not always guaranteed to hit ridiculously hard, but it truly does come down to where the bullet penetrates. It's of course going to cause a severe amount of damage if you destroy the engine, in comparison to just the vehicle's body. But either way, this rifle guarantees a high amount of damage nearly every time, even to behemoths like the train. I will however say that there is a slight bit of a disadvantage using this weapon over your traditional sniper rifles. The only way you can fire this weapon is by using its attached bipod. Luckily it doesn't hugely affect you negatively aside from the fact that you can't run around Call of Duty quickscoping every player you see. You either need to mount it on a surface from a crouch position or just easily go prone. But even if this is a problem for you at close range, you could always just switch to your sidearm to make you worry less. But believe me when I say that it's still completely worth it. Now I obviously wanted to showcase the tank of air to you because of its power, but I actually wanted to bring a bit of awareness to it as I noticed a fair amount of players having no idea where it is or just completely ignoring it altogether. It seems a fair amount of people are missing out on the fun. The M1918 is not like your normally equipped rifle. It's actually a weapon that must be picked up in a box similar to the flamethrower and portable light machine gun. The difference is it's located all the way out at point E in Conquest, everyone's favorite capture point. Anyways, it is recommended that you bolt to this weapon in a vehicle in the beginning of the game if you want to use it ASAP. Believe me when I say you want to grab that thing and find a safe place to use it. You will not drop it if you die, so use it carefully. You don't want it despawning on you before you use up its full value of ammo. But I did however find that the tank rifle does respawn depending on when it was grabbed. I believe the most I saw it in one game was 3 times, but I'm sure it could possibly spawn more. And that's all I want to talk to you about regarding the Tank of Air M1918. I'm not quite sure what else to say to convince you that this is a beast of a weapon aside from the fact that it truly is a somewhat dangerous but rewarding weapon to use. I highly recommend quickly running over to E and or checking anytime you're nearby to give yourself a chance to have fun with the tank rifle. 
While it does require you to use the bipod, it's certainly not a huge problem and becomes more of an anti-everything rifle, allowing you to destroy anything that moves at almost any distance. This is not a weapon you want to miss out on trying before the betas end. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Have you used this weapon yet? If so, are you enjoying it as much as I am? I sure hope so. Anyways guys, please feel free to subscribe for many more Battlefield 1 videos coming shortly. Thank you all very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.